Holdfast Nations at War has a lot of classes, from the average foot soldier to the skilled rifleman, each with their advantages and disadvantages. Each class also uses a variety of weapons to further their uniqueness. This video is for the land and siege classes. I will cover the naval and coastal siege classes in a separate video. All classes have a variety of equipment. In order to switch between each piece, you can either scroll on the mouse or hit the numbers 1 to 4 above the letters on the keyboard. For music Musicians who want to play music, first you need to equip your instrument, then hit Q, then left click to select the song. For the classes that use the spyglass or lantern, press F to use the spyglass and G for the lantern. Now to the guide. I will start with the officers, the main commander of a line who leads men in battle. Officers have one ability, army authority. An officer in command are able to issue orders. Officers have two orders under the ability. The first, reinforce. An officer can send a message to all allies to reinforce their position. This will mark your location on the minimap so your allies can find you. The second order is charge. This order will increase the damage dealt by nearby teammates when using melee weapons for a short period of time. Teammates will receive a message to tell them when to charge. Both of these orders have long cooldowns which means they are crucial and must be used at the right time in order to get the maximum effect. Officers have three traits. The first is resilient. Due to their strong sense of duty, officers receive a buff to their HP for better chance of survival on the field of battle. The second is distinguishable. Officers stand out from the rank and file. Officers are a different color on the minimap which makes them easier to find. The third is sword specialization. Officers excel at using swords. Damage done with your sword is slightly improved compared to other sword wielders. The officer wields four pieces of equipment, a pistol, spyglass, and lantern. To use the spyglass, press F. To use the lantern, press G. Line Infantry. The rank and file who excels at killing other line infantry. The line infantry for any nation is an average soldier with average skills. They do not specialize in anything like skirmishers or riflemen. Their role on the battlefield depends on the game mode, either attack or defend. Line infantry will usually find themselves in the thick of combat of any group and will suffer the most casualties as a result of their roles. All line infantry uses bayoneted muskets, which is decent at taking out enemies who are at least 100 meters away. This muzzle loaded firearm is equipped with a bayonet which is useful for making short work of an enemy that gets too close. Light Infantry, the quick footed skirmishers. They make use of their increase in running speed to navigate around the battlefield. The light infantry have two traits. The first, skirmisher. Thanks to the drilling and skirmishing tactics, light infantry reloads slightly faster but at the cost at melee combat damage. This means light infantry are better suited at taking pot shots at enemies instead of charging into melee. The second trait is light footed. Light infantry are faster at running than average line infantry can outrun enemies if they're being chased. The role of light infantry is offense. Light infantry are tasked to run ahead of the main infantry line to find and engage the enemy. The light infantry uses the bayoneted musket like lying infantry. This gun is decent at taking out enemies who are at least 100 meters away and is equipped with a bayonet to use to defend oneself if attacked. Flag bearer. The most honored position who gets to carry their nation's standard into battle, flag or eagle, depending on the nation. The flag bearer has two traits. First, ensign. Due to their inspiring presence, the flag bearer buffs firearm reloading speed to all nearby allies. The second is resilient. Due to their strong sense of duty, flag bearers receive a HP buff when they are holding the standard to give them a better chance of survival in battle. The role of a flag bearer is support, who buffs nearby allies with their presence. The flag bearer is equipped with their nation's standard, a sword and a pistol. The standard can double as a pike, which can reach longer than the infantryman's bayoneted musket. Due to this advantage in melee and buffs, the flag bearer is capped at 6 per team. Rifleman, the crack shots of an army. Riflemen have three traits. The first, marksmen. These men are crack shots of an army. Their accuracy when using firearms is increased, but at the cost of slower reloading speed. The second is light footed. Just like the light infantry, riflemen have a running speed buff which means they can outrun normal infantry. The third is for the British only. The 95th are prestigious, who stands out with their green uniforms. The rifleman's role is offense. They're tasked with taking out important targets like flag bearers, officers, or anybody they deem necessary. The riflemen use rifles or muskets, depending on their nation, and a sword for defense. 
Due to their superior accuracy, riflemen are capped at 10 per team. Surgeon, the only soldier who runs into battle to save life, not to take, unless they have to. Surgeons only have one trait, healer. Surgeons have the ability to heal other allies to full health. The surgeon role is support, to help other allies who are on the verge of death. To heal as a surgeon, run up to a person with a visible HP bar and press E. The surgeons are equipped with a pistol, a sword, and a saber bracket, depending on the nation. Due to their ability to heal, surgeons are capped at 4 per team. Carpenter. Due to the time this video was made, the carpenter is not fully fleshed out. But in the future, carpenters or the or the new upcoming class, Sapper, they'll be able to build and fix defenses and destroyed cannons. Carpenter role is support to build useful structures to help the team, as in useful, I mean a chair. The carpenter is equipped with a shotgun, sword, and a lantern. The shotgun is useful for taking out clustered enemies due to the future ability to build and equipped with a powerful gun. Carpenters are capped at three per team. Drummer. Nobody can think of 19th century warfare without the iconic rolling of the battle drums. The drummer has two traits. The first, musician. Due to their inspiring presence, drummers can increase firearm reloading speed of all nearby allies when playing music. The second is resilient. Due to their strong sense of duty, drummers receive a HP buff when playing music to give them a chance of survival in battle. The role of a drummer is to support their allies in a fight. A drummer is equipped with a drum, pistol, and a sword or a saber bakit depending on their nation. To play the drums, first press Q when drum is equipped, then left click to select the song. Musicians can play together when both select the same song. Due to their ability to buff reloading speed, musicians are capped at 4 per team. Pfeiffer. Only the bravest can march into battle with a fife in hand. A pfeiffer is tasked with supporting his teammates in battle. The pfeiffer is the same as a drummer. They both have the same traits and equipment, excluding the instrument. In order to play music, first equip the fife, press Q, then left click to select the song. Just like drummers, pfeifers are capped at 4 per team. Guard, the largest and most experienced men of an army. The guard excels at beating other line infantry. The guard has one ability, which is ironically called guard. It is the duty of a guard to protect their commanders. Guards passively increase the HP of nearby allied officers. The guard has two traits. The first, elite infantry. Guards are battle-hardened and veterans. Guards receive an HP buff that gives them a better chance of survival in battle. The second is bayonet specialization. Guards excel in melee combat. Their melee damage with the bayonet is slightly increased. The role of a guard is to defend strategic points or attack heavily defended areas. The guard uses a bayoneted musket just like the line in light infantry which is useful for killing enemies at least 100 meters away or finishing them off with the bayonet. That is it for this video. I'll gladly update this guide if any traits or abilities change for any of these classes. I will cover the naval and coastal siege classes in a future video. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the battlefield. No problem. Everybody but us are getting hit. Yeah. That's what happens when you crouch. Surrounded by dead friendly. Well, this is gonna get awkward. Thank you. 